Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about an important AI tool which is very very useful to analyze your PDF. For example, say we are uh, struggling to analyze a reference paper. So you can upload here and your reference paper get analyzed and it will summarize the content present in that reference paper. So we have seen many tools related with this type of uh, work. Uh, so on that line, we are going to discuss today uh, that tool. The tool what we are going to discuss today is that Brainly PDF. So Brainly PDF is an AI driven knowledge hub for your long learning journey. So you can ca chat it in any language that is a special feature. So you can upload any document and you can chat it in any language. So for that for click on that Brainly PDF. So here you can see uh, uh, drop a PDF here. So the PDF I am going to upload is that so this is the PDF I am going to upload. A new approach for dynamic fuzzy logic parameter tuning in ant colony optimization and its application in fuzzy control of mobile robots. So this is the uh, topic uh, that, that is the, this is the paper I am going to upload in that particular brainly. So click here. You will be having this PDF. So upload that PDF. Yes, our PDF is started to upload. So before that, we will see a small announcement from our channel. So we are going to conduct an online workshop on efficient conference on journal paper writing with ChatGPT and AI toolbox. This workshop, uh, the main objective of this workshop is, is to familiarize with what are the different AI tools available to make your research article preparation simple and also what are the important chat GPT prompts and how to use that chat GPT prompts correctly to make your research article uh, that is research, research article content in better quality so this is the main motive of our workshop so don't forget to register our workshop on efficient conference and journal paper writing with chat GPT and AI toolbox so the link for this workshop registration will be given in the description of this video so see you at our workshop make uh, make your research article writing very very easy so uh, on moving to our today's video yes it is uploaded and it is summarized so here you can see <coughs> this document discusses the analysis of different variants of ant colony optimization in solving traveling salesman problem statistical evidence is presented to support the effectiveness of certain variants. The document also mentions the use of fuzzy logic in optimizing trajectory controllers for mobile robots. So this itself is enough for you to use it as a uh, that is theory content for your literature survey analysis. For example, say you are taking it as a reference paper means you can mention this paper or Castillo ETAL. Uh, discusses the analysis of different variants of ant colony optimization in solving traveling salesman problems statistical evidence and present to support the effectiveness of certain variants so so you can use the same here so in order to make the analysis even better and even uh, if you want to have any questions related with that particular document so you can make use of this uh, questions so here you can see the three example question already generated is that what is the purpose of the analysis in this document? What statistical evidence was found regarding the performance of ACO variants? <coughs> How is fuzzy logic used in optimizing trajectory controllers for mobile robots? So first I am going to use this question to ask. So I am going to copy the question and I am going to paste the question. So I go give enter. Let us see how it will generate answer for that particular question. Yes, it is generated the answer. <coughs> Even it will generate the references cited and also you can see the source documents in page number 4, 8, 10 and 10. So this the statistical evidence found regarding the performance of ACO variance is that the developed approach outperforms the method uh, used by 5 and the classical strategies. So it uh, so this ACO outperforms all the methods uh, uh, that is that is classical methods and it will give a better solution related with that finding statistical evidence so it is aco use it is a fantastic answer so from that pdf so next uh, uh, how is fuzzy logic used in optimizing trajectory controllers in mobile robots so i am going to copy that question 
and I'm going to paste the question give enter yes our question is started to generate error how is fuzzy logic uh, user in optimizing trajectory controllers for mobile robots here you can get the answer so fuzzy logic is used in optimizing trajectory controllers for mobile robots by designing a fuzzy logic controller that applies an adequate torque to the robot based on the error in linear and angular velocities the fuzzy system uses linguistic variables to represent the input and output parameters the membership functions of the fuzzy systems are optimized using ant colony optimization to find optimal values of the parameter so you will be getting a better answer using this option so and also you can check out for other uh, that is uh, other questions also so here you can see what is the significance level used in the statistical performance uh, statistical analysis performed so i am going to copy and paste the question so let us see so the significance level used in the statistical analysis performed is five percentage so like that you can any question uh, you want you can ask related with that particular pdf so it will generate a better answer uh, for that questions thereby you can analyze your reference paper very very detailed and very very better so thereby it makes your literature survey very easy and you can analyze the paper very easily for example say it will take only 5 or 10 minutes to analyze a paper so you can ask questions or, or uh, oddly it will take 15 minutes to analyze that particular paper and from 15 minutes you can ask different questions from that questions you will be getting an idea so thereby you can make a statement of that particular paper and you can use that in your literature survey also so it is a fantastic option for every researchers and the uh, people who are preparing a review papers so you can make use of this ea tool so and make your lit literature survey process very very easy so hope this video will be very useful for you so before that you have to register with your gmail id so that is very important so when you register only you will be asked many questions otherwise it will ask for your registration or sign up so you can sign up it is not a uh, tedious process you can just uh, sign in with google and click your email id then automatically it will sign up so and you can make the analysis start making the analysis so hope this video will be very helpful for you so thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you